Hi, my name is Crystal Fletcher and welcome to All About Canadian Books. I am so honoured to have Bruce McCullough as a guest today. Bruce is the late Ian McCullough's brother and we'll be chatting about Ian's incredibly beautiful and captivating novel, Joe Pete, which was published by Latitude 46 in October of 2023. Poet and novelist Ian McCullough was born in BC and raised in Northern Ontario. He's a member of the Chapleau Cree First Nation in Fox Lake, and his writing was deeply influenced by family and his Indigenous heritage. Welcome to All About Canadian Books, Bruce. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you. Um, what I would love to do, Bruce, is if we could get to know your brother a little bit. So I have some questions prepared for you, if that's all right. Absolutely. Great. Um, for our, our viewers, how would you describe your brother? Well, I'll, I probably have a bit of a bias here, but he was the consummate big brother. Uh, you know, he um, he was my philosophical leader, uh, my spiritual leader. Uh, you know, he told me what what books to read what movies to watch and uh probably you know was my first teacher in rhetoric so uh he was um very astute uh loved to read loved to write uh was very in touch with his heritage uh he was and just an all-around uh even guy yeah uh, and when did Ian start writing? Oh, well, you know, we grew up in the 60s. So uh, we started, uh, you know, in those days, uh, there was never, you know, there wasn't a thousand channels to watch. So we spent a lot of time drawing our own cartoons. So you read comic books and then you would make your own comic books. So we did a lot of uh, writing and, and drawing from the very beginning. I mean, as as early as I can remember, he was writing. You know, now of course, you know nothing you'd want to publish or anything, but but we, you know, yeah, it was it was uh, it was like playing a game, or um, you know, I guess the kids now play video games. Well, we did comic books, we and we wrote stories and poems. Wonderful! How wonderful! And um, what would you like people to know about your brother? Ah, oh, you know, he was honest and passionate. Um, yeah. he was able to see through a lot of the, the fog and rhetoric that, that shades our world and, and see the truth at its core. And I think he was also excellent at delivering that truth. Um, uh, you know, I think back to a, a lot of the poems he wrote and, and, uh, uh many of them are, are, will move you to tears. So, you know, he had an, absolutely astounding command of the english language um i often you know he was my pope yeah um at the beginning of the book i mean there's a lovely dedication by your nieces and nephews and a beautiful beautiful um intimate introduction to your brother and you know listening to you speak and also reading those items like I just have to say he's someone I think I would love to know and that we would all love to know uh yeah uh, yeah I think so you know he was he was the kind of guy that that people drove around at a party you know he always had a good conversation going yeah um, yeah and you know unfortunately he died before the book was published before it was even mm -hmm. finished so a lot of that credit goes to his wife, Lori, who, you know, she put it together. She put it into book form and she worked with the publishers to to complete it and and put it together. You know, I think that was it, for him. It was, the you know, his opus prime and uh, he was never satisfied with it. Uh, you know, and these are things that I, I learned from from Lori that, you know, he'd been writing it for quite a while and he kept rewriting it and. Uh, in many ways, she faced the uh, the same challenges as uh, Tolkien's son, right? There were so many versions that, you know, now you have to sit down and decide, okay, that's going to be chapter one, right? 
Wow. And that must be incredible too, Bruce, like for all of your family, now that the book is out in the world, like people must be coming up to you and saying how much they love it and just giving you all kinds of feedback. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think I, I told you, I, I don't have any copies of the book because I keep giving them away. Uh, <laughs> and I have presented them to all my friends and, and uh, associates. And yeah, everybody comes back and they're they're kind of amazed that uh, that a writer of that caliber was in their midst, you know. Yes, yeah, and and he is, I mean, an incredible um, writer. I, so I know. Sorry, I know we share. I shared the story with you before we were on, like, um, I hit that record button. But I think it's worth it for people to know too, like. I'm, I've got 20 pages left of, of Ian's book, uh, and I am just so mesmerized by his writing. It's so incredibly beautiful. And for me, it's very similar to how I felt when I read one of Ian's heroes, Richard Wagamese, Wagamese excuse me, um, Indian Horse. I was on the go train on my way back to Barrie. Uh, I was the last stop. And... I missed the go train terminated early and went back to Toronto. I missed the announcement to get off the train and didn't realize that anything had happened until I was back in Toronto. So I had done a round trip and um, just because it was such a fabulous and a wonderful book. And for me, Ian's book, Joe Pete, is of that same level. I would have missed my go train stop if I was reading Joe Pete on the go train. So it, it's beautiful. I can't recommend it enough. 